All-Star Break predictions are here. This is MLB The Show underscore tips on Twitter. Follow me there. And for weeks, we've been pumping up the fact that big changes for the All-Star Break were coming. The developers told us during this stream on their couch that it was going to happen. Universal roster changes, something like you'd see in between game titles. Now, does that mean everyone? We're not sure. Guys out for the year, Darvish, Wainwright, may not have enough stats. They may be safe, no overall changes. But guys on the disabled list like Miguel Cabrera, Giancarlo Stanton, very fair game for downgrades or upgrades because they've played most of the first year. So in this video, we're going to have catcher, we're going to have first base, and we're going to have second base. And we're going to have more videos this week on outfield, starting pitching, all the other positions. So how will a Bryce Harper from an 82 silver become 99 overall? We'll talk about those chances along with pitchers like Chris Sale. Could he become a 99? All of those are coming up this week. So get excited because we're going to have a lot to talk about. Let's start off, though, with catchers with this video. Steven Vogt, 300 hitter for the first half versus righties. That 83 contact is pretty darn close. I love him as the best lefty catcher out there to platoon with someone like a Sal Perez, 12 home runs, also close to that 70 power. He could get small increases and finally get to gold after the All-Star break. Grandal of the Dodgers has hit 14 home runs, and you know what? He's hit all of them against righties. So that 68 power versus righties has got to come up. And I think that'll happen along with a 279 average versus righties. Might boost the 69 more into the 70 range. Now, St. Louis has allowed the fewest stolen bases in all the majors, so Yadier Molina's defense is going to stay elite. Don't worry about that. He hit 246 in April, 300 in May, 300 in June, 317 versus righties for the first half. So that 76 contact could be going up, but he can't hit lefties, only 186 versus lefties, and he has no power. Keep that in mind. I do like him as an upgrade candidate. He's got the defense. Now, Matt Wieters, not very good. 111 versus lefties. That 82 contact versus lefties is going to have to drop, but 286 six versus righties that 50 contact versus righties may go up three home runs not cutting it after three years of 20 plus home runs can't justify the 62 and 79 power now that wraps up catcher on to first base paul goldschmidt is on pace for a career year already has 20 home runs a 343 contact versus righties is going to push that 88 even higher he's hitting 377 versus lefties so that 98 is legit versus lefty contact rate but look at the steal 16 right so that steal rate has got to go up from a 39 the speed is fine at 63 he's going to get upgraded to a 99 overall in the next update Next upgrade candidate is Albert Pujols, on pace for 50 home runs, which would make it the best of his career in the power department. 90 power is fine. He's got 22 home runs versus righties this year, the most, except with Arenado. He's also got 22. We'll talk about him in the next video. For contact now, he's got a 73 rating, but he's hitting 285. I think the 73 could go up. 191 versus lefties is not going to really help the 62 contact versus lefties. Yankees first baseman Mark Teixeira, last three years he's had less than 24 home runs, but already he's got 20 this year. 249 versus righties, we could see his contact rating versus righties go up into the 60s. 213 average though versus lefties so far this year. I think his contact versus lefties stay the same. Power is fine where it is. I think that's very fair. Rangers first baseman Prince Fielder, 87 overall, but never batted 300 for an entire season. He's hitting 344 right now. I know that the 392 versus righties is ridiculous, the best in baseball, so that 87 contact should jump up quite a bit to 90 or more. He's hitting 277 versus lefties, so that 78 contact versus lefties is fine. Even power splits, so I'm not sure that 81 power versus righties is going to stick. Final upgrade at first base is Brewers Adam Lind hitting 312 versus righties this year, which I think that 91 contact may be a little high versus righties, could come down, but all 15 home runs he's hit this year are versus right handed pitchers. That means that 75 power could increase. Now, against lefties, his contact not so great, only hitting 234. I think it'll keep him as a platoon guy. Now, the first downgrade candidate among first basemen may surprise you. Reds first baseman Joey Votto. Very specific reason why, though. Among all qualified first basemen with enough at bats, he only finishes 11th in average versus righties, hitting only 283. So that's behind Pujols, Abreu, Freeman, guys like that. And I think that 95 contact rating, which he's so valuable for against righties, could drop. Now, past years are weighted, so that's taken into consideration with developers. So that 95 may only go down to a 90, but I wouldn't be surprised if it dropped even more. The rest of his ratings are fine, but that's where the downgrade could come for Votto. 
next downgrade candidate is Carlos Santana of the Indians, and you're going to really see the drop-off against lefties where he's hitting only 218 this year and has zero home runs. So the 75 contact versus lefties will have to drop, and even the, the power versus lefties should drop from a 65 even lower. That 77 power versus righties is fine. He's hit nine of them, but that's where his downgrade will come. Now, Victor Martinez is an injury play gear for the Tigers, first baseman, DH. He's already been downgraded once this year. He's still dangerous versus lefties, but 211 versus righties average this year. That's going to force that 84 contact versus righties down. Only two home runs versus righties as well. I said dangerous versus lefties. He's hitting 444 and only 45 at bats. Mets first baseman Lucas Duda, I'm not as worried about for a downgrade. Here's why. His ratings may change around, but like the 85 power versus righties is a little high, could drop. He's only hit six versus righties this year. On the bright side, though, he's among the top five first basemen in contact versus lefties with a 316 average. We could see that 62 contact go up into the 70s. Power versus lefties should stay the same. Moving over to our last position, second base, we'll lead off with Jason Kipnis, a diamond candidate and one of the easier projections because this guy is the best hitting second baseman, only rated an 89 overall. Let's run through the numbers. 371 versus Reddy. That's only number two behind Prince Fielder, so we think that 86 contact is going to be a 90 or more come the next uh, ratings overhaul here. He's hitting 286 versus lefties, which should bump that 56 contact versus lefties also higher. Power is fine, not really a power. Power hitter, four home runs versus righties, two versus lefties, balanced walks and strikeouts. Jose Altuve of the Astros was downgraded early in the year. Why? He got a minus 10 in steals. I think he should get some of that back. He's on pace for 50 stolen bases. As far as hitting goes, his 285 versus righties ranks 10th among qualified second basemen. So that 75 versus righties may be a little low, but it's fair. Six home runs, you could see an increase in power versus righties into the 40s or 50s. Now, when it comes to that 99 contact versus lefties, that could actually drop a bit. He's hitting 360, which I know is really good, but it's behind D. Gordon, so one of them could see a bump against contact versus lefties. And the final second base upgrade candidate we'll talk about is Joe Panic. He needs some ratings adjustments. Here's why among second basemen, he's got the third best average versus righties at 314, only behind Kipnis and D. Gordon. So that 75 contact versus righties will jump up. However, he's only hitting 279 versus lefties, where in the game he's got a 90 versus lefties. That should drop that contact rating. Five home runs versus righties shows signs he may get some power into the 50s. That would be a nice boost. The one downgrade candidate we want to talk about is 88 overall Robinson Cano. Remember, he used to be a diamond, got downgraded all the way to an 88. I still don't think the 88 is justified. We're going to talk about the stats. It'll be very interesting to see what the developers do because he has a long track record of how good he's been. But listen to this. 265 versus righties is going to have to bring that 83 contact down. 221 versus lefties average is fine with that 54 contact versus lefties. Now, the power could also drop versus lefties. He's only hit one all year against them. He's hit five home runs versus righties. We'll be very interested to see what happens with Cano. So you've got catcher, first base, second base in this video coming out July 9th, third base and short. Then we'll have outfielders and then pitchers all leading up to what we think is going to be the all-star break overhaul on Monday, July 13th. So stay tuned and follow me on Twitter, MLB the show underscore tips.